Hi everyone, this is For the Love of Comics and today we are going to be looking at the adventures of Tintin, the Black Island. Specifically, we are going to be doing a comparison between an earlier edition of the Black Island, reproduced over here, and the modern redrawing of it, the one that most people are familiar with. If you're looking for a general introduction to Tintin, make sure to check out my What is the Adventures of Tintin video. And you can also check out the overview of 22 albums of Tintin in a quick flip through. Over here we have the 1943 color edition, which was the first time the original Black Island, which was done earlier, had been uh, colored. And here we have the modern redrawing of it, which was done at the time of the Black Island's release in Great Britain. The publishers in Great Britain felt that Perger's work on the Black Island did not accurately represent England. It would not be recognizable to the audience in the country where this was taking place and asked for changes to be made. And a collaborator of Perger's actually traveled to England, took copious notes and drawings and sketches in order to create this form, which is the form that most people know. So without further ado, let's take a look inside and see what makes this edition different uh, from the redrawn edition. One of the interesting things to note uh, between the two editions is that they're almost the same as far as a panel layout and structure is concerned. There are a couple of differences that I'll point out or one or two of them later, but for the most, it's exactly the same layout. Uh, page after page, uh, what we see is that the panels themselves have been redrawn, the figures as well as the background specifically, details have been added, but it isn't vastly different from what was there before. You'll see minor differences, like on the very first page, the Black Island starts with this newspaper clipping of Tintin out for a walk with Snowy. Uh, that's not over there. So you've got three panels over here, four panels over here, but them for a walk, uh, them hearing the plane, them seeing the plane, watching the plane land, uh, noting that it's probably a private aircraft and then running to it, so on and so forth. It's exactly the same flow. The translation is almost the same translation. This is adapted from the original by the same translators who did this edition. So the text is again almost word to word. Already within the first page, you can tell that the level of detail in aircraft, for example, uh, it's a much more modern and a much more realistic looking thing. Not many more lines really, but just the precision of it makes it a very realistic airplane. And you can see that the clothes are very different. The uniforms are just sort of shapeless masses. They're one piece looking overall things uh, with a hoodie. Over here, you've got jacket and jeans and caps. One other thing that you can notice from the very beginning is that the background details have been filled in and made a lot more varied. It's very sparse over here. You can see a few trees in the background with no leaves over here. It's lush. You've got different types of colors in the trees. You've got shrubbery around and it just creates a much more solid atmosphere. The colors obviously over here are much brighter than the original more muted colors. Moving on, we also notice that the figures and the faces of Tintin and the Thompson detectives who appear here are not what we are more familiar with. They're less rounded, although still cartoonish. The Thompson detectives look a lot more menacing and brutish, although their being foolish is also obvious over here with them slipping up. The gags remain the same, but the faces are quite different, a lot more circular and a lot more pleasing in the modern style. As we continue, we can see that the background details, again, are quite sparse in the original. We can see the buildings over here and we can see the ways that the countryside looks behind them. Uh, and although you've got some architecture and you've got some trees, it's not anywhere near as rich. And sometimes not because of a level of detail, but just the kind of detail that's put in that makes the difference when the redrawing was done. With the cars over here in this scene of the story, we can see again, like the plane right at the beginning, at the level of detail and the modernization uh, that's coming in with the redrawing is making it a lot more sleek, a lot more distinctive. And again, the backgrounds are richer and creates a fuller sense of the environment, giving you an idea that now we are in England. Further along in the story, when we get to the Mueller estate, we see more of that detail where in the background of these original drawings, you have just a wall, you can see one tree and some grass underneath. Unlike later, 
where you see a lot more detail and you get a much fuller sense of the environment that's being filled in. Later on in Mueller's office and in the escape attempt, you can see again that the panels are exactly the same, but the level of detail creates more of a sense of the office the way it did of the gardens outside. You get, you get some background details and you can see the foreground, you can see the figures sort of standing in that environment. You see it more as a fleshed out stage rather than the rather bare bones uh, sort of drawings they originally were. The differences the background details make really come to the forefront in this fight sequence where along with the office in the background and the details in the windows that you see over here, you see one of the first major panel differences right here in the middle of the page. In the earlier drawing it was just three smaller panels with uh, Ivan running up and seeing them fighting on the floor over here which is replaced in the redrawn version by one large panel. This one large panel being so full of detail creates a larger room uh, in which this action is taking place. The level of detail also hides for the moment the painting that's going to be the thing to fall. Whereas over here with the rather blank and stark setting, the picture just happens to be there in order to fall. This is, this is a setup as part of the environment that is a lot more satisfying. The fight continues with the same level of detail available in the background. You see the windows over there behind Tintin. You've got paintings on the wall and candles and a uh, wing back chair over there. Again, the curtain is just part of a much more detailed room that you have. So it catching on fire over here seems like a very natural uh, thing to happen. As whereas over here, again, it's a question of a convenient prop, just like the painting falling earlier was.